The marine transport industry plays a crucial role in the global economy. Mitsui OSK Lines, or MOL, is a global player in the marine transport industry. The company can trace its roots back more than 130 years, but it is now investing in innovations that it hopes will take it firmly into the future. MOL is building a groundbreaking type of ship that it hopes will help with its decarbonization efforts. This is a 40% scale model of the actual hard sail, which is about 54 meters high and 15 meters wide. It will depend on the size of the ship and the route, but we estimate that our ship equipped with the sail this time will cut greenhouse gas emissions by about 8% when traveling from Japan to the western coast of North America. At sea, there are times when the wind is too strong and can put too much pressure on the sail. This system allows the sail to be retracted to safely propel the ship. That first ship is planned to be a bulker that carries coal. If all goes well, the sails will then be equipped on various types of vessels, including tankers and LNG carriers. Mitsui OSK Lines has its sights set on zero emissions with its Wind Hunter project. This is a model of a hydrogen producing ship. By applying this technology, there is absolutely no need for refueling and it can sail around the world and transport goods by using just wind. We're aiming for the ultimate form of zero emissions. In strong winds, Propulsion created by sails would turn propellers, which would then power turbines to generate electricity, which in turn would power an electrolyzer that can produce hydrogen from water and store it. In times of weak wind, that hydrogen is then put through onboard fuel cells, which can then create a further source of electricity to help power the propellers and thus the ship itself. We're aiming to launch hydrogen-powered cargo ships by about 2030. MOL says it already has solutions that will help it achieve zero emissions. These include the use of cleaner alternative fuels. Currently, most commercial vessels use fuel oil with a sulfur content of 0.5% or less to power engines. But data shows a switch to liquid natural gas can help reduce CO2 emissions by as much as 25 to 30 percent. It also reduces emissions of nitrogen oxide by 85 percent and eliminates sulfur altogether. MOL is also working to develop ships that run on alternative fuels, such as synthetic methane or ammonia. It's even close to manufacturing a fully electric tanker. The company has also been ramping up its decarbonization efforts in other areas. It recently expanded into the ocean transport of liquefied carbon dioxide, a crucial component of carbon capture and storage. We have set our corporate mission. From the blue oceans, we sustain people's lives and ensure a prosperous future. And we have been striving to provide even better services more efficiently to make the lives of people around the world more fulfilling and convenient. We will continue making contributions in this regard. In addition, we have redefined our role as part of the social infrastructure industry to make the world's environment better so that we will continue to be a company that provides even better services that the world needs. As a measure to conserve energy and operate ships efficiently, we will utilize wind as ship propulsion using glass fiber reinforced plastic sails. As solutions to decarbonization, we will proceed with combining wind propulsion and environmentally friendly alternative fuels including LNG, ammonia and hydrogen.